are live here at Carrier Air Power 2021 and Crank, welcome to the commentary box. What a fantastic day for a live virtual air show event. You got me there, Crank? Well, we're just waiting for the uh, Harry Display team to get cranking out on the deck of the HMS Illustrious, which is parked just in front of the hotel complex. A brilliant show in store for us here today as the boys from the UK get ready to give us a show performance unlike any before. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're live on comms, Crank. Welcome to the commentary team. And we're live here in the commentary box. Oh, I think we finally got connected there, my guys. Sorry about that. It just wouldn't oh. be show day, Crank, unless there were a few technical glitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't. I can see that we now have eight airborne. Razbam 8V8B Harriers over Carry Air Power 2021. Uh, what a, what a display that we're about to see here, Mugga. Look, absolutely. I mean, these guys are just absolutely spectacular. I, I had the opportunity of seeing them a, a couple of years ago uh, at one of their performances, and uh, to have them here today at MVP Carrier Air Power is just something quite special. And I'm really looking forward to it because we don't get to see the Harrier too much in airshow performances on the uh, virtual airshow circuit. But here today, we don't have one, we have a whole multitude of them. I can say from my time being in the community, this has to be the most Harriers I have ever seen airborne at one time for an aerobatic performance. So uh, as everyone can see here, we have the, uh, the team has formed up. Uh, a little bit about the Rasbam Harrier display team. They were formed in 2018 with the explicit aim of displaying the 8V, 8B Harrier in formation to a wide audience of virtual airshow fans around the world. The team trains two times a week and is endorsed by Rasbam Simulations, the original developer of the aircraft for DCS. As the uh, team uh, now turns inbound, uh, you might notice a uh, a special uh, paint scheme on these jets. Uh, they're flying a fictional skin commissioned specially for the Harrier display team. Uh, this features a Union Jack on the tail uh, to represent the Harrier in British uh, Armed Forces Service. At the moment the team is uh, full up but are getting ready to recruit. Um, the team will soon be making uh, some public statements and uh, will have their applications opened up soon so if you're interested in flying with this team and joining these great group of pilots definitely check that out Now, ladies and gentlemen, look directly at show center as the Harriers start their show in T formation. This formation consists of the wingmen in a very difficult line of rest formation and the trailing pilots extended in a line of stern. As they pull into the vertical, watch as Skillet, the lead pilot, calls for the team to change into the arrow formation. As they pull over the top here, Skillet's going to pick his head up, finding that show line, he's going to turn the team as they complete the Clover Loop.
as the team heads downhill from the clover loop they're picking up the necessary airspeed that they will require as they perform a right wing over and transition into the swan formation As they transition uh, to the Swan Formation, I uh, would like to introduce you to today's pilots. Flying the inner left and right wing, respectively, is Kirby, who is going to join us later today on the Comic Book Crew, and a Nutty Squirrel. As the team trans back, transitions back into that Swan Formation, this is a very difficult transition to do while in a turn, as the pilots are not only translating left and right, but also back. Ladies and gentlemen, approaching from show left, the very graceful Swan Roll. The team's now pulling back into a left wing over here, folks. Now, let's watch as they transition from Swan Formation to the Concord Formation. Skillet's now driving the formation back downhill towards us. Smoke is on. Watch as they reverse their turn from left to right and enter for the Concord bottom side pass. Completing the bottom side pass, the team's now pulling up into the vertical. Watch as they complete the Conquer Award Clover Loop. A team with such large formations requires a very strong backbone. Flying the slot position directly behind the leader is B. So as the team repositions, let's just go ahead and just talk about how great this aircraft is. The eight. AVAP Harrier is a stall VTOL aircraft initially developed by the Hawker Siddeley Company in the 1960s. It saw 41 years of service in the British Armed Forces before finally being retired in 2011. The Harrier depicted in the show today is the AVAP developed by Razvam Simulations and released in 2017. The AVAP itself is a joint US-UK effort to develop an improv improved version of the original Har Harrier with its roots beginning in the AAVA, before the withdrawal of the Hawker Siddeley and the resulting being the AAVA-B. The aircraft has a, is with a 14,700 feet per minute climb rate and 673 mile top, per hour top speed. <laughs> and there they go by with the flares.
Ladies and gentlemen, the team is now pulling back into the vertical. They're currently in cross formation. Let's watch as they transition from cross to the alpha formation. Here they come, ladies and gentlemen. They're coming back downhill, picking up that necessary airspeed they're going to require to loop not just one, but eight of these aircraft in close formation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as they're pulling into the vertical, they set up for another formation change from alpha to square. Now, the square formation is very similar to that very famous Diamond 9, made famous by the Royal Air Force Red Arrows. The only difference is it's, it has a solid, hollow center, as the Slop Pilot B has slid all the way back to the rear of the formation. Ladies and gentlemen, they're rounding down the backside, pulling back into the vertical. Let's watch as they perform the square vertical break. What a performance here we have here today. As the team uh, calls smoke off, they're now rejoining into two ship formations and they're going to prepare for the overhead break. Mugga, what a performance that was. Look, uh absolutely fantastic and it's great to see them here at carrier air power 2021 and again now, ladies and gentlemen the show's not over just because the smoke's off i still got to get these aircraft back on the deck at hms illustrious So as the uh, team uh, gets ready to recover here, I'd like to uh, introduce you to the remaining four pilots of the team. Flying the outer left wing position is uh, Mr. Maverick. He's joined by his right wing counterpart on the outer right, Fireblaze, and flying in the very difficult back left and back right position are Vanquished and Aurora. The Harrier, uh, in this case the Navalized Sea Harrier, uh, most no notably saw combat during the 1982 Falklands War, where it shot down 20 Argentinian aircraft with no losses. Today, the uh, Harrier has uh, been replaced by the uh, more modern F-35B, uh, which is the VTOL version of the F-35. But uh, I think we can all agree that the, what a treat it has been to see these Harriers here today, and not just flying uh, around, but doing structured formation aerobatics.
here they come folks into the break one two three and four and here comes the second group and here they go one by one peeling off to the left setting up getting in the downwind Uh, the key thing to remember here is as these Harriers are uh, recovering on the deck of uh, HMS Illustrious, they are not catching a cable like your conventional naval aircraft such as the uh, F-A-18 Super Hornet and F-14 Tomcat. Uh, they have those engine nozzles pointed down towards the water and they're floating on a hot cushion of fluffy air. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just let's take a moment just to listen uh, to the sound of these uh, Rolls-Royce Pegasus F402 engines as the team makes their uh, recovery here on board the ship. We have two down. Again, flying uh, Harrier number two is the MVP's own uh, Jason JJ Kirby, who will be joining me shortly in the booth after he recovers here. What a sight to see here, folks. I don't think in my 15 years of flight simming of I've ever seen so many Harriers in line to uh, to recover here. This is quite the sight folks. And what a job these guys just did. Great performance. Strong formation keeps, uh, keeping abilities. For those who haven't already, follow us on uh, Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Uh, links can be found at MuggaVirtualPilot.com. are down here comes seven and eight there's seven and ladies and gentlemen Harrier number eight final approach to the HM HMS Celestrius They may not be able to hear you, but they can definitely see you. Let's uh, give it up for the uh, Razbam Harrier demonstration team in the uh, chat there, folks. What a fantastic display from the boys from the UK. Hands down. Just great work. Okay. Well, if that was uh, entertainment, wait until you see our next drummer. He is furious. <laughs> Lock in the mighty FJ3 Fury. 
Yes, a long-time flight sim enthusiast and Canadian private pilot license holder, currently in training to obtain his commercial pilot's license with aspirations of flying amphibious bush and cargo planes for hiring.